Good morning to you all. Welcome to another edition of Rhapsody of Realities. Praise the Lord. Today is Friday, for in of January 2023, and today's topic is Christ our life. Praise the Lord. Christ our life. So before we start this beautiful morning, let's pray together. Father, we thank you. We honor you. We give you all the praise. We appreciate you for who you are. Thank you for your mercy that prevailed over judgment. Thank you for the gift of life we are not taking it for granted. We are gathered this morning to study, study your word. As we meditate on your word, we thank you for your truth of your word, O Lord, this morning. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once more, welcome to another edition of Absolute Authorities. And today's topic is Christ alive. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall you also appear with him in glory. Praise the Lord. That's Colossians 3 4. Christ is our life. Blessed be God. Just the thought causes the power of God to cause through my being. We are not ordinary. When you receive Christ, something actually transpired. The life and nature of God was imparted to your spirit. You no longer have the human life. You have the Christ life, the divine life. This was the Apostle Paul's summation when he declared, I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live. Yet not I, but Christ liberated me, and the life which I now live in the flesh, in this body, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me, and gave himself for me. Galatians 2.20 What an overwhelmingly deep-seated condition, praise the Lord. Paul referenced the same thought in Colossians 3.10 when he said that as new creations <clears throat> we are put on the new man who is being renewed in knowledge after the image of christ in other words the more you learn about him and experience him in knowledge the more he expresses in and through you that is christian growth when the knowledge of the divine life in you sink into your spirit through meditation it becomes your constant consciousness. It becomes your practice, experience, and way of life. How could anything go wrong with your liver, heart, or kidney when Christ is your life? The Bible says, if Christ is in you, even if your body were dead or ravaged by sickness or disease because of sin, the Spirit gives it life because of righteousness. The life and nature of God in you, Romans 8.10 The debrief, defeated, destroyed and broken human life has been supplanted by the Christ life, the divine life of righteousness, honor, peace and glory. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Woo. Look at the life we have in Christ Jesus, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Christ is our everything, praise the Lord. What pastor is helping us to understand is that when you give your life to Christ, when you're born again, a new life is implanted in you. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. When you're free from sickness, you're free from diseases. Yes, and from you, you move from sources to sources, praise the Lord. Because when Christ is in you, no more darkness. There's no failure when it comes to you. Because He has come and He has given you light. He has light up your world. Praise the Lord. So when Christ is in you, don't ever, if you feel any symptom, remind your body of who you are in Christ Jesus. Because that same spirit that raised up Jesus, if it dwells in you, it has battleized your mortal body. Praise the Lord. 
So this is what Pastor Isaac must understand. This is the beautiful life we got in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. So with that being said, let's take the confessions together. Christ is my life. Christ is my righteousness. Christ is my wisdom. Christ is my all. Christ in me is the hope of glory today. I fully express the essence of my divine nature. Imparting my word with the righteousness, honor, peace, and dominion of Christ. Hallelujah. For that study, you can look at Colossians 1, verse 26 to 27, Colossians 3, verse 3 to 4, and Romans 8, verse 10 to 11. What your Bible reading plan? Matthew 10, verse 1 to 23, and Genesis 31 to 33. Two year Bible reading plan? Matthew 5, verse 41 to 48, and Genesis 13. So, at a leisure time, you can go through the scriptures, and you'll be indeed blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. God bless you. I trust you have been blessed by today's devotional. And I want you to use this opportunity. If you're here, you've not given your life to Christ, this is an opportunity for you to do so. All you have to do is repeat the prayer of salvation with me this morning. Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe it's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have everlasting life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. If you repeat this prayer with me, congratulations to you. You are now a child of God. All you have to do is study your Bible, get to know God is. But Jesus is in who the Holy Spirit is to you. And bombard yourself with faith with messages such like this. Yes. And look for a believing church and worship there. Thank you so much. What a time we had this morning. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. It is free and all your notification bell so that anytime I upload a video, you will be first to notify. And on Facebook, follow me at Flora Beauty. God bless you as you do so. And if you come across this video, please share, share, share. And it is also free to share. God bless you. So before we go, let's pray together. Father, we thank you. We honor you. We appreciate you. Thank you, Jesus, for the life that you have supplanted in our soul. For by your stripes we are healed. We shall not die but live to declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. We shall fulfill our days. Our days shall never be cut off in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your for our daily bread today. Thank you for your daily supply. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much. You have a fabulous day. I'll see you same time tomorrow by the grace of God. God bless you. Bye.